The following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. Welcome to College Football, presented by Best Buy. Today from Kyle Field in College Station, Texas, it's the Texas Longhorns against the Texas A&M Aggies. Ron Franklin, Ed Cunningham, and Jack Arup coming to you from a capacity house at Kyle Field. Texas won the toss. They have deferred to the second half, so we will see the Aggies go on offense first as Hunter Lawrence prepares to kick it off for the Texas Longhorns. Franks and Brown, the dual safety back for AM, and we are underway. It's a high spinner. It's going to come down short at the 16 yard line. This is Brown. Pierre Brown tries to take it to the outside and is going to be knocked out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Due on their first drive is be going backwards. Third down and 20 for Texas AM. Going to run. Now going to throw, lobs it out, and he's got a man open at the 40. That's Jaborski Lane, and Lane may have the first down to tackle. First down, Texas A&M at their own 46. Pass thrown complete, another first down inside the 40 and down to the 38-yard line. That's Irving Taylor on the reach. Blitz coming from Texas from the short side of the field. Pass thrown complete, and Goodson stays on his feet at the 30, 25, cuts it back inside, and he may score. 10, 5, touchdown, Mike Goodson, 35 yards. Tip the extra point, trying to put Ian up 7 to nothing. In Every the first of the team. three and a half minutes. He's been in his coach's corner, and of course, this is as big as it gets. Colt McCoy opens a quarterback for Texas. Play action. Looking. Going to go long, deep over the middle, and the ball is overthrown. In so if you just joined us, AM 7, Texas nothing. 11 and a half minutes to play in the first carry of the afternoon by Jamal Charles and Charles is going to have a gain of about six the same but the back of his jersey reads Thomas McCoy throws it complete to tight end Jermichael Finley but he will have the initial Texas first down Obanaya checks into the ball game at tailback replacing Jamal Charles McCoy hit, gets the ball away and Unless he's got a receiver close by, that might be intentional grounding. Third down. They need to take it to the 21-yard line. Texas shows blitz off the left side, and here he comes. McGee all the way back in the end zone, and the ball is simply thrown away. And applying the pressure, number 40, Robert Killebrew. Big opening, 50, 45. Jamal Charles with his first long run of the after for the Texas Aggies. Thanks, Dave. We'll hear him one more time uh, when he introduces their offense as well. Charles, left side, sandwiched between two defenders, but uh, he'll have part as you're in that tweener distance. I would think some type of play action if you have Obanaya in the game. This time, Colt McCoy is under center, which is a rarity, and under pressure. Breaks one tackle, tries to break another, and is going to be knocked out of bounds at the 37 yard line, short of the first down. McGee looks to throw. Got a quick hitter. Martellus Bennett, the tight end, and that's good for the first down. All right, John. Third down and short. Jaborski Lane gets the handoff, and Jaborski will power his way to the 44 yard line. Added a little more and let McGee throw it a few more times. Javorski Lane right up the middle, head down, has five, has ten, counted off at 12 yards. As Lane got a head down, got a good block from the left side of that offensive front, snot in the backfield, so it's an empty set with McGee. 
And McGee steps up and tries to bid it. The tight end. He is close to a first down as he goes inside the third side. Who will be in the championship game? Third down, about a yard and a half for AM. Two tight ends. They give it to Lane. Big opening. Powers his way inside the. AM scrimmages with a first and 10 at their Texas 26 yard line. Option play. Goodson. Now going to be knocked out of bounds at around the 20 yard line. The Aggies have played virtually all afternoon in front of the sticks. They lead it 7 0 and threat being again with the ball inside the 20. McGee gets outside at the 15 and now is going to be tackled hard at the 14 yard line. Robert Kelly is only 13 of 23 in field goal attempts. It's good to in motion as they really spread out that Texas defense. McGee pass over the middle ball is tipped and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down and from where the line is coming from the far hash mark gets a good pass and he got it. Even if it's just for a decoy of a run play. Quick toss in and out of the hands of Finley the tight end Goodson. Reset to the backfield. They give him the football. Big opening has five, has ten, and it's going to be another AM first down as Lamar Houston will make the second down. They need to take it all the way to the Texas 43. McGee gets away from pressure, throws it complete, and will have the first down to Pierre Brown. Well, if you. A, a very good chance at a BCS at large with a win, and they're still in the mix in the South. Hard to believe they're being outplayed right now. Pass intercepted by Texas, almost caught by Bennett, and Dion Beasley comes up with the turnover. And we'll see if that's the thing that it takes to light the fire of the Longhorns. Now this yard line trailing an M10 to nothing. McCoy steps up over the middle throws it complete and that is Jones Nate Jones the senior out of Texarkana Charles looks for a spot to run and almost found a huge hole in fact he is going to wind up with a first down he kind of second down and 10 McCoy gives it to Charles open I beg your pardon number two McGee space and they made him come to the sideline. McCoy steps up, swing pass, flag comes down, and the ball is caught and then kicked out of bounds. And they'll say it's an incomplete the third time in their last five drives. Stephen McGee, play action. Going to go on top, and he goes right over the middle and has it to his tight end Bennett. And Texas gave him the cushion right up the middle, and they took advantage of it. Well, and they win. You've got to start thinking of him back in the race for the Heisman. Taylor on the receiving end. He's played very well, and they're doing the same today, and the offense feeding off of that. McGee, pressure, throws it complete, and that's Brown. And Pierre Brown is going to have the first down on that second little wiggle and second effort. Four. So on second and ten, again play action, and the ball delivered. Got one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it is caught at the 15-yard line, and a first and ten. Carry Franks on the reception. Ryan Palmer trying to take the ball away from him. He Texas shows blitz off the right side, and a pass back over the middle, thrown complete, tackled immediately at the seven-yard line, and a good hit on Taylor Ashmore. It is a fake, and they're running it for the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M, T.J. Sanders. Actually, there. So again, Stevens is out there. Sanders, I should say, is the holder, and uh, this time it's kicked. And just what we said when we did the uh, matchup down there, and 
Well, I got a theory on that game, and I'll give you just a minute. As Charles gets the pass, and he's loose in the open field. Charles cuts it across at the 50, at the 40, at the 30, slows up for a blocker, and finally shoved out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. And he got a pancake and penetration by the Aggies, and they stop him dead on third down, and that's Carpenter. Marquise Carpenter. Look at the block. They'll from the same spot again. Shipley is the holder. And the kick is up, and Bailey is good. So Texas is on the scoreboard with 12 seconds left until got the load in the second half. Obanaya comes into the ball game as the Aggies show blitz off the top of your screen and they throw complete right into that vacant area and that's Jermichael Findlay for the first down. Sickle on the sideline trying to stay loose. McCoy and now throws deep and the ball is intercepted by Texas A&M. Jordan Shipley was trying to come back and get it and because Colt McCoy had to rush. Texas showing blitz. We'll see if they stay at home. What the pressure in the middle. Gibson and tackled, but not in time by Beasley. First down, Texas. Studied for the Aggies all year. And McGee wants to throw. And it is picked off. Foster. Foster down the sideline, knocked out of bounds at around the 10 yard line, and the Longhorns want a flag for a late hit out of bounds, and the officials do not throw one. Second. Jamal Charles heads for the end zone, touchdown Texas. So this turnover turns into a touchdown for the Longhorns. And now, all over us in the record when they're on the minor side, they're 6 0, 0 and 5. And right now they're down two turnovers to one. So the extra point attempt is up and good by Ryan 17 to 10. Just under 10 minutes to play in the third quarter. It's Bennett in motion. And a quick pass out to the right side. And the defensive back for Texas had fallen down. Pierre Brown made that interception normally unflappable. Got to throw this one. Swings the pass out at the 35 to Taylor. And Taylor Still in the field of play, close to the first down as he'll take it out across the 45. Appears to be getting into the action. Well, Jaborski Lane gets the handoff straight ahead, breaks a tackle. They catch him around the ankles, which is about the only place you comfort level is the offensive line has blocked extremely well tonight. As the run goes straight ahead, and they're going to pick up another first biggest defensive play that Texas has looked at uh, this afternoon with uh, just over. Five minutes to play third quarter pass on single coverage to Bennett and the ball tipped and incomplete at the five yard line and it was Eric Jackson the strong safe dead they need to take it to the 25 yard line that's Brown in motion stepping up now throws has it complete and it's going to be short of the first down to carry Franks and I'll tell you, he didn't pick him up in time, but Brown was wide. 27 yard line. Jamal Charles in the ball game at tailback, and they hand it off to him. And Charles, a missed tackle, and he's still spinning. He'll take it to the 35. It's a gain of eight. Yards against Nebraska in the fourth quarter. He, for whatever reason, he just gets stronger and stronger. You just don't expect that a lot of times a guy who comes with that much track speed. Here's uh, Shipley, and he makes the catch and also makes the first down. Defensive front, Michael Bennett's not in the game, starting to slow down that rush a little bit, too. McCoy hit, loses the ball, and I believe AM has it at the 46 yard line. Yes, it is recovered by Harrington. Chris Harrington with the recovery. It looked to me like Colt McCoy took a shot in the face. His offense. Off the field. We'll see if this turnover for the Longhorns brings points. McGee, a gain of eight on the option. Scott Derry will make. Got the corner, and Goodson turns it up at the 10. It'll be first and goal at the five yard line. Texas AM. 17. He lines up the block on the left side. And they try to run it inside at the two, at the one. 
Touchdown, Texas A&M. Being shoved him into the end zone. Extra point attempt is up and it's good. He's going to go down as as one of the, the greatest because of the impact that he has had. You're exactly right. Kickoff by Cosby from the nine yard line. And Cosby's got running room and he cuts it back to the middle and hang on. Quan Cosby could be gone. 91 yards for an answering kickoff return touchdown. And for anybody saying, is that close to a record? Not even close. Johnny Lamb Jones against SMU in 1978 had a 100. Uh, see Coach Tomlinson, the uh, special teams uh, coach, uh, congrats. And that's a great point. What has spurned Texas, though, is a defensive interception that turned into a touchdown and now a special teams play. Big block, a lot of running room. Are we going to go the other way? Tackle is missed. No, just enough. Shankle is tripped up as just enough touch on tells of how they played. Pass near sideline, and he's got Goodson on a wheel route. Goodson, 10 5, touchdown, Texas AM. The wheel route with the running back out of the backfield and you get the isolation and it makes an extremely difficult defensive play for the defender to make. And an excellent call. The finish of the run was spectacular cutting back to the middle of the field. Extra point attempt is up and is good by Savansky. And the angle rivalry is not made through hate. It's made through respect. Absolutely. Third down, Texas needs to take it to the 44-yard line. McCoy drills it complete, loses the ball, and it's picked up by a and And they're now going to say incomplete pass. It was Billy Pittman. And boy, I, th I thought he caught the coaches have said he's just got really good football sense. That was very smart by him. Well, McGee's going to run. Ran out of harm's way, then turns Kendall all the way around and finally tackled out at the 29 yard line. Where there's going to be safeties in the way, but do some screens and things like that. AM is 7 of 11 at third down conversions. Lane in the ball game, he's there to block. Quick pass over the middle and a tackle is broken by Taylor. It's a foot race 30, 25, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, 67 yards. attempt is about to come and it appeared that Griffin overran the play and it ran into his own man causing the tap fence just don't let anything over your head and you're going to be just fine so McCoy good pickup on the blitz looking and he's going to be sacked at the 39 ball is loose and m ball Kellen Hurd is the man who caused the fumble. Well, it was Kellen Hurd and Lucas Patterson who double teamed McCoy. The accelerator. They have not gotten conservative. A wide open game plan all the way through. McGee this time is going to be sacked back at the 40 yard line, and it's Muckleroy. I don't know how many tacks. They're just going to keep giving ground and just not let the big play happen. McCoy got him in, and that's. Complete to uh, Jones. So it's fourth down. The line to make is the 28. And McCoy throws it to Obanaya. And Obanaya, I believe, will have the first down as Miller forced him out of bounds. Well. McCoy runs up, got him in. And there's Shipley. Jordan Shipley. 
Well, we mentioned earlier that Stephen McGee and Shipley were teammates in high school. Well, Shipley and McCoy are roommates at Shipley. So they have a lot of confidence in each other. And the kick is good by Bailey. He said there's no defensive coordinator in this conference or any other that wants to have to defend it. And he is, he's exceptional. Yeah. Quite a hit. On, so on third down and many, about 19, a very long count as he's running down every second of that game clock that he can. And McGee will turn and hand it off to Lane. And John Saunders, we understand. So here comes third down. McCoy runs out of the pocket, drills the pass, and it is incomplete. As Shipley will game a tailback. Four and a half minutes left. McCoy going to run at the 45, at the 40, hit from behind, and he'll have the first down plus about 20 yards. Tackled by. Under heavy pressure, resets, and he's going to run it and will spin inside the 25 to the 23. Now, he, uh, for Texas, uh, I'm not so sure this is a running play. They may try to get one here on a fade run. Now they go with a quarterback sneak. So McCoy keeps it. Yep, you're right. Ninth play of the drive, and Ashar a blitz, and they swing it out. And the pass caught and stepping out of bounds at around the 15 is Obanaya. Obanaya to the right side gets hung up with his own blockers. Did his knee go down? No. Touchdown, Texas. Obanaya in the game because. Extra point hits the upright. Texas has only one timeout remaining. Keep an eye on number three, Mike Goodson. And they give it to Goodson, being trailed, gets by a tackle, turns the corner, and he just picked up the first down. I mean, by just inches, but he just picked up the first down. Not in a Big 12 championship game, and also a BCS at large could be going. There's the first down right there, and a man standing closest to it. Dennis Francione. Third down, but that's not the most important thing for the Aggies. You see Stephen McGee, he's just going to fall down on the football, and now 24 seconds, they don't even have to run a play. The 25-second clock does not need to be started. The Texas A&M Aggies are going to upset the Texas Longhorns and beat them two years in a row. Final this game is going to be A&M, 38-30. They came out strong, they came out emotional, and it paid off for them.